Tim Becker, one of the naturalists here at Zoo America. Today I'm going to talk to you about the Regal Fritillary. It's a very rare species of butterfly. In fact, the only place it exists in the eastern United States right now is out at Fort Indian Town Gap, not too far from here. Um, it still can be found out in the Midwestern prairies, but it disappeared very rapidly from the eastern United States over the course of the last 20 years or so. They're a very colorful butterfly. They're about two and a half to three inches across. We got involved with the project just through knowing the biologist out at Indian Town Gap, and he mentioned to us the possibility of rearing some regal fritillaries. They want to reintroduce them to, into sites that they're preparing, uh, putting the right kind of plants there and so forth to try and expand their population. And they'll lay their eggs on violets. As soon as the caterpillar is hatched, they'll just eat their eggshell usually try and find somewhere to, to burrow into some dead grass around the base of the violet in a leaf litter and that's where they just kind of hang out until it's time to wake up in the spring. Regal fritillaries and other species of fritillaries are sort of broadcasters with their eggs. They don't lay them directly onto the host plant. They just kind of fly along and drop them in the general area. But they are, they are very vulnerable to weather conditions. They can drown in a single drop of water when they hatch. Um, they're susceptible to a lot of molds and funguses and things like that that, you know, some little whim of the weather can kill an awful lot of caterpillars pretty quickly. So the survivability is very low. They usually will wake up in April, start eating violets. Uh, that's what their main thing they like to eat are violet leaves. Over the course of about six weeks until they're fully grown and then they would form their chrysalis they would stay in the chrysalis as the pupa form. They would stay in the chrysalis for about two weeks. Um, and then it would emerge in mid-June as adults. The males will live about um, maybe a month and a half, maybe six weeks. The females may live a little longer because they go into a, a dormancy period where they aren't using much energy up and they aren't beating their wings up. So the, they'll live longer. They'll, they'll emerge in June, but they may survive until mid-September. Right now we have about six or 700 caterpillars in the refrigerator. We're hoping to get as many adult butterflies out of them as we can to release into an area. Initially, we're gonna release them into a part of Indian Town Gap where they have disappeared from, see how that works, and then they're gonna expand the project to some other parts of the state. Regal fritillaries are somewhat similar looking to a monarch in that they're orange colored, but rather than having black bands on them, they have spots. Uh, they have a series of white and white spots on the hind wing. The males have white spots with a row of orange spots. You can tell them apart by the different colored spots that they have on their hind wing, whether they're male or female. So at this time, the caterpillars are in the refrigerator just kind of chilling out. When they hatch, they go into hibernation. Mm -hmm. 